Mi soundbar. Now, recently, Mi LED TV 4X Pro launched. That's why they launched the soundbar with Xiaomi. So, let's see what the TV is going to do. Let's see what the TV is going to do in this video. Hey guys, I'm Perash. You can see the C4 Tech Tamil video. If you like the video, press the thumbs up button and subscribe. Let's go to the bell icon. Now, let's go to the video. So, let's start with a small KLV. You can use the soundbar on your TV. If you use it, you can use it. If not, if you have an audio or audio or soundbar on the TV, you have an interest in it. Tell me in the comments. Basically, who is interested in the soundbar, 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 who is interested in the soundbar. So, let's talk about the Mi soundbar. So, let's talk about the design. So, there is a white polycarbonate finish on the Mi soundbar with the white polycarbonate and gray frosted fabric on the front. There is a lot of Google Home effect. There are various buttons on the top, and there are various inputs. There are two volume buttons on the bottom, and there are Mi logo on the right-hand corner. So, if you look at the wall mount option plus regular I.O. There is an aux port, line-in connection, coax option, optical in option, and then the power. So, you can use a dedicated power switch. In the bottom, there are three rubber feet. That's it. Outside, there is no other one. Overall design is very solid. The size is standard 33 inch. But it has a nice light feel. It is easy to move. The design is very good. It is clean and minimal. All TVs are fit in the design. I mean, the design fit, but if you have a black variant, it will be better. But if you have a white variant, there is a chance to get a little bit of white. Black variant is going to blend in. Especially, all of my TVs are black, so it will be better than black. But anyway, if you look at this Mi soundbar, you have 8 audio drivers. 4 passive bass radiators, and you have 2 render end shoofer. So basically, you have dedicated drivers, different frequencies. That's why the size of the size is small, and you can use the vocals and bass in the Xiaomi. So that's the work. Well, that's why we set it up first. This setup is very easy. So, if you connect the power cable to the TV, you can use the connectivity options to the TV. So, you can use the output of the phone in the phone. You can also use the sound bar in the Bluetooth. So, we can switch the inputs in the sound bar. That's why maybe you can use the sound bar in the phone. Maybe you can use the input in the phone. Maybe you can use the sound bar in the phone. So, it's convenient. So, it's important to use the sound bar in the TV. So, it's important to use the sound bar in the phone. So, it's important to use the sound bar in the phone. Audio quality is how it is. Sound quality is how it is. Short as well, it's very good in the audio output. You can see it here. Between us, love is all we'll ever trust. No, I don't want to waste what's left. The vocals are very clear and the bass is very clear. I mean, you can tell the bass is very clear. But in this size and in this sound bar, in this pricing and sound bar, it's very impressive. Overall, the audio output is very loud. There is no distortion in the max volume. There is no distortion in the audio clarity. The inbuilt speakers are very better. Basically, the sound bar is the same. If you have the audio in the inbuilt speakers, you can try it in the same way. You can try it in the same way. But if you look at the improvements, I think it's good to have a remote. If you have the sound bar, you can connect the aux input to the Bluetooth. You can control the audio levels to the TV. There is no problem with the TV or remote. But if you have the best quality, you can connect the optical or coax. If you have the TV remote volume levels to the TV remote volume levels, you can control the TV remote volume levels to the TV remote volume levels. If you connect with the volume levels, you can control the volume levels. So, you can use a remote. But this is the issue. But if you talk about the pricing, you can't talk about the pricing. Because this sound bar will be launched in 1500 rupees. So, there are no other options for this price. There are no other options for this price. So, anyway, this is a smart device. So, you can't use ads for this device. Okay. Okay, it's a comedy. But anyway, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, that's a comedy. But anyway, that's what I'm talking about. Pata, ini produk overall Roman allah produk Roman allah price launch panir kanga. So, unggah TV orang audio, unggul ke patlah, dora kunci awal advancement pino, ina kunci upgrade panno, abdi nane cinga. Ades amai itla nariya selaveli kaya nana nane cinga. Ina Mi soundbar unggah TV kor nalla kampanya nana erkom. So, ini dah inorak kerti ina Mi soundbar pati. Ippo ninge solengan ninge nene nene keringe dapati. Ini ninge wangar dekak chance erka soundbar selaveli kaya interest erka. 
கீழே கமெண்ட்ஸில் சொல்லுங்கள் ஸோ அவ்வளோதான் இந்த வீடியோக்கு பிடிச்சிருக்கு பிடிக்கல என்ன நினைக்கிறீங்களோ அதை பேஸ் பண்ணி கீழே உள்ள தம்ஸ் அப் தம்ஸ் டான் பட்டனை ப்ரெஸ் பண்ணுங்கள் இது வரைக்கும் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணலாம் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பட்டன் ஏற்கனவே சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணியிருந்தீங்க நான் பக்கத்தில் உள்ள பெல் ஐக்கான் இதெல்லாம் ப்ரெஸ் பண்ணுங்கள் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஃபேமிலி மெம்பர்ஸ் கூட இந்த வீடியோவை ஷேர் பண்ண முடியும்னா பண்ணுங்கள் அடுத்த வீடியோவில் உங்களை திருப்பி சந்திக்கிற வரைக்கும் என் பேர் ஆஷ் நீங்கள் பார்த்துட்டு இருக்கிறது சி ஃபோரி டெக் தமிழ் ஹாப் அ நைஸ் டே பாய்